All right, y'all. We're here. A little bit late, but we're here. I don't know whose fault this is. Mm. You think it's mine? Mm-hmm. Why do you think it's mine? It's always yours. It's never mine. Oh, okay. Right. Hey, guys. Hey, y'all. What's going on? Welcome to another episode of Melanie and Thought, where we talk about things that affect the black, black uh, I get it out, the black community. I'm Reggio. And I am Mimi the Lady. And what a lovely lady she is, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> So anyway, we have an interesting show today. We're going to talk about Juneteenth is history and the big takeover that's trying to happen with that particular holiday Mm -hmm. that none of us like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a bunch of stuff going on, man. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about it. A whole two years later. (laughs) All right, let's get this music cracking. So we'll have some uh, talking music. Let's push button. Push goddamn button. <laughs> push damn button. <laughs> Is this one of your originals? Of course. Yeah, it's one of mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I use a guitar riff with that one, man. It's a little bit different. Because hmm. I know I'm going to use piano riffs, but that's a. Use guitar riffs on this one. Hmm. So, But anyway, y'all, enough of that. How's your day, babe? My day has been good so far. Just still doing the same old, same old. Out here hustling and grinding to the best of my ability, to the of best course. of my knowledge. Uh, of course. And how are you, dear? <sighs> Business as usual. You know how it goes. Mm-hmm. Business as usual. I can't complain. So if I was to complain, who would I complain to? Right. Hold on. Wait a minute. We're not getting any sound. What the heck is going on? Hold on, y'all. Having some technical difficulties. It weren't at first. I don't know what the heck happened. Oh, okay, now I can hear. All right. Sorry about that, y'all. We had some technical issues. We're good now. Yeah. Hope y'all can hear me. All right. We're good. What the heck happened? Just screwing my stuff. Okay, we're good. <laughs> you know, they have tendencies to do that. You ain't lying. Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> if something was screwed up, it's on them, man. They were messing with my feed. Like they do sometimes, mm-hmm. man. Especially when they get ready to talk some real stuff, man. They don't want to hear that. Oh, my friend Paul is in there. Hey, Paul. How you doing, man? Hi, Paul. How are you? Yeah, Paul's an old friend of mine. He, uh, me and him used to work together. Back oh, in, nice. Back in the Kinko. Back, in the, back when I worked at Kinko's. Kinko? That's an old word. Oh, you ain't lying. <laughs> yeah, me and Paul go way back. You know, he's a martial artist like myself. So, oh, you know, okay. he's, you know, me and him have that common background. Plus, we're both comic book nerds. Mm. So, we have that going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He says he's rocking and rolling. All right, Paul, man. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you tuned in. So, like I said, the Juneteenth epiphany. I call it an epiphany for a reason because it's very puzzling how everything is going on to a lot of folks i'm going to talk like i said i'm going to talk about the history of juneteenth i'm going to talk about the history of the flag of the juneteenth uh which i have posted in a splash screen just a little bit i'm going to have a bigger picture of it in a few sec in a few minutes later on down the line Mm -hmm. but uh yeah we got a lot going on man well i would like to start the show off by saying if anybody wasn't aware reggio put a beautiful ring on my finger oh man I already had a little something, something, but he really came through with this one. <laughs> this one is a uh, kind of remind me of that scene from Martin when Martin made Gina write that note. <laughs> Nothing like that, y'all. Come on, anybody that knows me knows better. Come on, y'all. But no, it is a beautiful ring. Yeah. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Not a like I said, I had a little something, something before that was beautiful too, and I'm gonna keep that one and treasure that one as well. Yep. But I'm gonna rock this one. <laughs> Because it's a rock <laughs> But I, I just want I don't want to get too mushy But I'm just going to straight speak from my heart I love you with every inch of my soul Every being of me mm-hmm. I have never met a man like you You are totally different from what I'm used to And I should have chose you a long time ago <laughs> <laughs> And I know last year we were supposed to do this, Something last year on 10-10-2020 right. But Miss Covina a- 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 A.K.A. Corona Kind of spoil our plans a little bit, but hopefully, 
next year, 2-2-22, special date, funky date, you know, will be our date and we can officially become Mr. and Mrs. Parker. Hey, y'all. Just don't be bending over in front of Craig and smoking. <laughs> None of that. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you again. Like I said, we've been together, been engaged, but right. we put a beautiful ring on it again. Yeah, and dude. I just want to say thank you so much, my love. Not a problem, baby. Love you too. Mm-hmm. But uh, but yeah, we're good now. We're really good now. So mm-hmm. yeah, don't just just don't be blind to everybody with the ring. You, you know, know what I, mean? I can't. You know, I'm just saying. You know, I'm humble. I'm humble. <laughs> yeah, she is humble. Yeah, I can honestly tell you that she's very humble. It's a fat one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you. That I appreciate. It's that. Not a problem. Really not a problem. Do. So, uh to be honest with y'all, I don't really have very many books mm-hmm. on this particular subject. Um, one comes to mind that I started reading years and years ago, but I never really finished it. Because mm-hmm. um, everybody that's new to the show, I know Paul's new to the show. Every time I do the show, I come up with books that every black person should read at least once in their lifetime. Right. And um, again, I don't really have very much about the only thing I really have is the one that I keep stressing. That's a compensatory counter racist code, but I'm not going to show that cover anymore. People should know it by now. Uh, But one that I do have. Hold on. Let me get my screens up here. One that I do have. I don't have it posted up. um, Is a book by Ralph Ellison. It's called, of course, Juneteenth. It's not really about Juneteenth. It just talks about events that happened during that day. Mm -hmm. Um, It's more of a historical novel. It's a novel, but it's more of a historical novel because it got some historical points in it. And um, I never finished the book, but I need to get a copy of it and actually finish reading it. I think I got like three quarters of the way done with it. But it's a book by Ralph Ellison called Juneteenth. Let me see if I can get it up here. Hold on, y'all. I don't want to leave my people's hanging when it comes to that hold on hold on see if I can find that book cover so people can know what it looks like because I'm sure I have it okay bear with me y'all yeah here we go here we go right here here we go right here sorry about that impromptu editing here but here it is the cover by Ralph Ellison mm. Juneteenth so again it's more of a historical novel than anything it's not really uh, um, a book about history in, in general it's just got some it's got some historical facts in it but that's as far as far as it goes but it's a good read y'all it's a really good read so check it out mm-hmm. definitely check it out uh, Juneteenth by Ralph Ellison um, for those of you who don't know who Ralph Ellison is, my lovely co-host is familiar with him. He wrote the book The Invisible Man. Mm-hmm. So, um, which is a, another book that every black and person everybody should everybody should have wrote a book report on that in high school. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, I got to have another book, The Shaping of <laughs> Black America by Lerone Bennett Jr. But yes, you're absolutely right. Somebody should have read that book mm-hmm. at least once mm-hmm. in in during their formal. Mm-hmm. Formidable school years mm-hmm. and wrote a report over that book. I know I did. No, I did too. So, oh yeah. But uh, yeah, here's another book, The Shaping of Black America by uh, Lerone Bennett Jr. Okay. It talks about the history in in this book. It's this is a historical book. It talks about the history of Black America and how it came to be, and more important than that, it has a little section on Juneteenth and the holiday and how it came to be. Okay. So definitely check that out, y'all. You won't be disappointed. So, but that is all I have for the books for today. Put the splash screen back up there. Okay. So, what we got for current events? Well, we don't have too many. We have a couple. But I would like to start off to say, <clears throat> today is National Pink Day. That's our favorite color, y'all. That's my favorite color. And for those of you who are used <laughs> to us doing the video, she has a pink... Um, she has a pink uh, screen on her microphone. She has pink headphones. That's right. And if it was up to her, I'd be pink. Yep. <laughs> In a kind of way you are. You know, pink is a pale red color. Is that so. a light skin joke? No, no is joke. Is that a light skin joke? It's reality. You're a, you're a pale pink. 
a pale red, which I'm is a, what pink is, a pale oh, red. You know? A light skin joke, y'all. <laughs> don't, don't let it fool you. It's a light skin joke. <laughs> but no, every June 23rd is National Pink Day. And National Pink Day was dated back to the 14th century. So, I don't know. I've always loved pink because it just comes to mo- come off as being associated with femininity and sensitivity right. and tenderness mm-hmm. and childhood and romance and romantic and right. I don't know seduction and eroticism so I just love everything about pink so to yeah. say that I'm a pink girl I am a pink girl she really is y'all I she really pink. is everything. I normally have pink nails but I've been going on a couple of interviews so I had to do a professional yeah had to get a professional but yeah normally I do I, I love my pink so shout out to all the ladies who love pink and men okay let's also see. men who love pink sorry about that didn't mean to cut you off babe I'm sorry uh, Leslie just logged in. He just hit New Boston, and you know the signal's gonna go dead in a few oh, seconds. Okay, well, be careful. Be, <laughs> be careful, careful, man. We're gonna miss you. Yeah, we'll probably be out, be out there way this weekend, so mm-hmm. you know, look out for us. We had plans on coming out that way anyway, mm-hmm. so uh, we might be out that way to uh, check you out and go to see Miss Deborah and the whole family and kick it with y'all for a minute or two. Mm-hmm. So uh, you know that's the plan. So if, if we don't, we'll let. If we don't, if we change our plans, we'll let you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, we plan on coming out that way, man, so we can holler at you for a little bit. Nice. So, Can't wait. Yeah, buddy. Well, good. Be careful and y'all have a safe trip. Yeah, def- def- definitely, definitely, definitely. What else? What else you got, baby, besides um, it being National but Pink again, Day? But again, National Pink Day, shout out to the pink ladies. Yep. Uh, we had a couple of different current events this, this week. We were kind of like all over the place, so kind of start the good news fade into some whatever news and then right. hit the top the subject of today okay the next subject that is good news for me is i'm pretty sure everyone has heard of shakara richardson oh yeah she's the, another black woman who makes history as one of the fastest women in the world and i want to do a shout out to her because she's from where dallas texas <laughs> Woo! i love her story because even though she competed in the olympic she tried to qualify for the olympic 100 meters the other day and just a couple of weeks i think it was either one week or two weeks before she had just lost her mother wow and i was like wow and when i went when i watched it she tore that court court that field up she was running man you know (laughs) and i'm a track and field fan Mm -hmm. you know and I'm just gonna be honest with you. She she reminds me of a short, dark skinned Flojo. She does. That's she how got fast the long she is. hair. She got right. the long nails. But you know what got to me? At the end, she was pointing like she was pointing at the clock, like, "Yes, I beat that time." And right. then once she got there, she said, "Don't you play with me." <laughs> oh, that's what's up. I, I don't think she's being cocky or anything. She's just telling y'all, give her her props. This girl is good. I'm sorry. Bruce Lee, one of my martial arts inspirations Paul's too mm-hmm. he said this it ain't bragging if you can do it that's right that is right I love that that's a good sentiment so if you can actually do those things mm-hmm. you're not bragging about it that's you're stating right. facts show, I mean, what it is, show yourself approval there you go show and prove baby that's right show and prove so shout out to her I, I, I just want to give her a little shout out because I thought that was a beautiful thing awesome thing and congratulations to her and i hope she can go all the way of course i hope she does too Mm -hmm. i hope she does man because she has a wonderful story definitely so yeah definitely man you know she's 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 amazing i've seen her run man i'm like whoa yeah she's good okay here's a story that's kind of i mean i don't know how to take it but i'm sure you guys have heard of the raiders call nasip who announced he's gay yeah, they say he's the first NFL player, but to my <laughs> knowledge, there once was a boy named Michael, <laughs> last name Sam's. He came out and announced that he was gay, but when he went on TV and kissed his white boyfriend in the mouth, I don't think Michael Sam's played not even two weeks, did he, in the NFL? Well, this is my whole deal, and I've always said this on the show. Mm-hmm. I'm not homophobic by any stretch of the imagination. Mm-hmm. My whole deal is this. Whoever you're sleeping with, that's between you and whoever you're sleeping with. Absolutely. Don't nobody really care. I Mm -hmm. mean, if you like sleeping with men, if you're a man, you like sleeping with men, okay, keep that to yourself. We don't need to know all that. Same deal if it's a woman sleeping with other women. Hell, that's your business. Keep that to yourself. We don't need to know all that. Mm -hmm. That's not, that's a personal thing. So, because, let's just be real. Let's go back to history. James Baldwin, open homosexual. Absolutely. Did nobody care? Nope. 
and we knew and he didn't announce it oh by the way i'm gay he didn't no. th- because you know it wasn't it, necessary that it wasn't necessary but people knew same deal with langston hughes openly mm. homosexual it wasn't necessary it wasn't necessary we knew he was gay didn't, but, but but nobody but nobody really cared but this guy what what's getting me about this story is nasa was a he's a five-year nfl veteran he's not a rookie let's just go ahead and keep it real he's a white man <sighs> Come on. Michael Sands was a black man. I'm not trying to make this about a race thing, but it just seemed like everybody is gravitating, like giving him his flowers and his just dues. Right. But I'm like, I'm pretty sure he's not the first NFL player to be gay. Yeah, maybe he might have been the first one to come out publicly with it. But ever, like I said it before, it reminds me of Michael Sands when he did it, and everybody made it out to be this gigantic catastrophe. Like he should have yeah. kept that to himself. He never should have did that. He just wrecked his career so what's the difference well there is no difference the only thing that's really different is that right now with him and just like you said they, they're saying he's the first Mm-mm. no he's not no he's not he's not the first Mm-mm. but because he has a complexion with the connection mm-hmm. You know, all of a sudden, he's the first. And like the the um, the commissioner, Roger Goodell said, he was proud of Carl for courageously sharing his truth today. What did Michael Sam's do? Good question. Good mm-hmm. point. Mm-hmm. Paul brought up a really good point in the chat room. He said he feels that in a way, uh, it was either to deflect or, inc- or increase social social currency for himself. That's a pretty good point, Paul. Mm. That's a pretty good point. Maybe he is, but. Um, like I said, you know, that's you know, your sexual orientation and your sexual preference, that's nobody's business. I've always said that. So, do when you go to work, I'm not trying to be funny, but let's just keep it 100 here. That's what we do melanated thoughts, right? When someone calls, Hey, is Reggie there? Hi, this is Reggie. Hey, Reggie, this is uh, Michelle. I was calling to say my computer is down. Do you think you might come and come and look at it? Okay, give me five minutes. Do 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 do. Push the button, go on the elevator. You go to Michelle's floor. Get off Michelle's floor. Walk up to Michelle's cube and say, "Okay, what's going on?" And she explains to you what's going on. Her computer. And you're like, "Well, Michelle, you know I'm gay, right? But I'm here to fix your computer. Is that necessary?" Nope. This is how I feel about this. Exactly. He didn't care. have to tell nobody he, he could have kept football. it to himself. Precisely. That's exactly. my whole point. He should have kept like, it to I himself. I just wanted to mention this story because I just felt like it was I think a lot of people are, are doing things these days to capitalize off. I don't know if they're trying to do it in their favor. And that's what Paul was saying. That's yeah. exactly what Paul was saying. So yeah, you know, I, and I well, agree with Paul. Well, why? Why would you need to do that? Yeah. You trying to get props from the LB? QTP organization. Let's just say the alphabet folks. Are you trying to get <laughs> are you trying to help other people become comfortable with I, I don't get it. I, I I just don't get I it. Don't I mean know. if you're that way, okay, be that way. Right. Cause I I I work with people that are like that mm-hmm. and they don't wear it on their sleeve. No, not at all. You know, Not there's a dude at my job right now. His husband came came and picked him up for lunch, hmm. and they kiss each other every single time. So, okay. Now, do you be like, <gasps> oh Nah, I don't care. God. It ain't my business. That's his business. What in the world? I just think a lot of people just blow a lot of things out of proportion. I agree. I, really I agree. Do. And Paul made a really good point. He said he's not saying that it's right or, no, or he's not saying that it's right or appropriate. He's mm-hmm. just saying that it's nobody's business. Exactly. And it really isn't. It's not. It really isn't. Nobody it really cares. Not. Nobody. Really, and, and bottom line, nobody really cares. Mm-mm. Nobody really cares. Truth be told, I don't. I know I don't. I could care less. That's why about I brought it up. I'm thinking, why? Please right. push forward. Moving on. Moving right along. Now this story right here kind of touched me and you know made me feel some type of way. Okay. Nina Simone's family blames Kamala Harris for taking away Singer's estate. What? Yeah. Yeah. Nina Simone's granddaughter was on. I saw it on CNN. Uh, shout out to CNN. I love that program. Um, and she was just saying that at the time when Kamala Harris was the attorney general in California, yeah. she um, signed a bill where they can go in and take her estate away, I think, because she owed taxes or something on it. Yeah, and I heard about that. The granddaughter was like, she didn't even give them a chance to try to... I guess get the appropriate funds to get the get it caught up, get the bills paid or whatever. She just came in there and just just took it over. Just huh? took it away. Wow. Took it away. And that's sad. It's really sad. So I mean, I know Kamala Harris had a job to do and whoever she was signing that bill or law or 
what is when they kind of repossession us i guess that's yeah. what you're saying yeah she had to do her job but when you think as as prominent as nina simone is was and will continue to be right there couldn't be no type of an exception for that they could have made an exception because at first i remember the story because at first they said they didn't have anybody to give it to they yeah, yeah because her daughter was alive mm -hmm. and her granddaughter's alive mm -hmm. now normally if something like that happens and like let's say you know hypothetically speaking we have children mm -hmm. we're both gone we're both let's just say we, we're, they would both have a huge huge estate mm -hmm. and let's just say that one of our children is a drug a drug addict you know just up to no good for no reason right and we have another child that's doing what they're supposed to do mm -hmm. what they would normally do they would see who would be the better fit to control the estate correct all right that's that's what normal people do now, as far as Nina Simone is concerned, now you know good and well, Nina, Nina Simone was very active in the civil rights movement. That's what I'm saying. As prominent as she was, yeah, vocal as she was. Oh, yeah, she was real vocal. She yeah. she pulled no punches. Right. She kept it 100, as we say. Mm -hmm. So, I think that might have had a little bit to do with it. And what her granddaughter was saying is, like, they just came in and t took it away from us and right. handed it over to white people. Yeah. Leaving her so poor, she is considered stripping to pay her own bills. I heard about that too. Bills. I heard so about like, that too. Her and your grandmother sitting up here with this massive estate mm -hmm. and things have gotten so bad that you have to go strip. And Nina Simone was like, mm -hmm. you already know, she is one of the most premier jazz singers mm -hmm. of her time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. She, she was right there with Ella Fitzgerald and a whole bunch of. Lena Horn and a whole bunch of other folks. But then, like I said, I want to keep both sides, you know, keep both sides 100. Supposedly, her daughter, Lisa, right. stole from her mom's estate. That's what I'm talking see, see about. You know, so it's like, mm, I don't. I don't know how to feel about this. That's why it touched me. I don't know how to feel about this story. If the daughter ain't acting right, then you give it to somebody that is. Yeah. That's just mm -hmm. common sense. That's that's what normal. That's what most states would do. Now, as far as the state of California is concerned, I don't know how that's going to roll. Mm -hmm. But mm. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I just, just hope it know. works out for everybody. I agree, man. Because that's not fair. Yeah, that's, that's not fair. They should have given good. somebody else an opportunity to actually look over that estate. Right. And you know, and just a side note here, I heard the same thing about DMX. Right. DMX didn't have a will. Nope. And now his older children is fighting over just to be the um adversaries over his estate and which right. is five older children and the young lady that he was with at the time of his death so right. you know like my mom always say try to get your affairs in order while you're on earth so when they're gone there won't be anything like this but sometimes people don't do it i know like when i go to the doctor they always ask me do you have a living will right and i'd be like oh, no and i keep thinking you need to do that so when something happened there won't be no questions asked paul brought a really good point in the chat room mm -hmm. he said apparently she was stripped she was stripped from that because of funneling funds from the estate mm -hmm. to her own personal company oh, yeah that'll do it too okay. that'll do it too see i hadn't that heard do that it too. yeah I hadn't heard that that'll do it too so this yeah. mean her daughter was doing it yeah oh wow thank you paul i never heard that part of the story yeah yeah Mm, that's why I was, I was so torn because like it was something something in the middle wasn't gelling everything together yeah something was there's always something the there's always yeah. something there's always something you gotta listen to both sides wow. of the story okay good looking out paul co-host co <laughs> <laughs> um and now to another story okay that will um hmm, lead up to today's topic okay perhaps 20 top brands is changing her name to avoid racial bias. Uh, we talked about this a little bit when it first happened when they was trying to change the Aunt Jemima bottle <laughs> and the Aunt Jemima pancake box. And now they're just getting out of control with all these different brands and changing her name like Uncle Ben is just going to be Ben's Rice. Like, yeah, yeah. Which is, I don't know. <laughs> I just... <laughs> And of course, everyone know they changed um, Ancient Mama to the Pearl Milling Company. <laughs> and the bottle doesn't have those big sexy hips no more. It's just a standard bottle. <laughs> Unbelievable. I know. I know. And one of the ones that caught me off guard was 
um, the story about the Washington Redskin is going to have to change their name. What? The Eskimo Pie. They want the Eskimo Pie to change its name. What? And then everybody know that I am a makeup fanatic. And a lot of the makeup brands is going to revamp the way they sell makeup. Instead of saying whitening or fair skin or light skin. They're trying to come up with another way to show or broadcast or say the color that's inside the bottle. What? Yeah. With me, keep it like it is. Because uh, some of us are light skin, some of us are, you know, fair skin, some of us are yeah. dark skin. I mean, that's just, I mean, I can't think of another word like my skin. What would I be called? Would I be called caramel or would I be called mocha? What would I be called? You personally, know? You know, personally, as an artist, I would say mocha. Yeah. Mocha brown. That, that's, that's just me. I don't know. I just think they're coming a little too far. And like, again, here's another one. The Atlanta Braves. The Atlanta Braves are going to have to change their name because they don't want to be offensive to the Native Americans. I, I just, I know we're in a climate now where everything is such a sensitive subject. And we don't want to step on nobody's toes. And we don't want to insult people. But people, we've had these names on these products for over 50 plus years. Here's here's my take on that. I don't know. Here's my whole take on that. Now, mm-hmm. changing the name from the Washington Redskins to something else, mm-hmm. that I can understand. Really? Because a, because Redskin was a derogatory term for a native person. It was derogatory. It's just like, it's just native, like saying... Uh, it's, like, just like Atlanta Braves? No, the Braves wasn't. A Brave is, is somebody... That's that, the Tomahawk That's thing, a warrior. Right? Yeah. yeah, that's a warrior. A Brave is a warrior. Yeah. Okay, but uh, calling a native person a redskin is just like calling a black person a nick. Oh, okay. So, okay. I mean, you know, changing the name. Well, I from, guess, okay, I could, okay. Now I see what you're saying. Right. I didn't. I couldn't correlate that. Now. Right. Okay. okay. So, but okay. that I understand. Which they should have changed that over a hundred years ago. That's what I'm saying. It's been here for so, over fifty. So. But you know, I'm just saying, man, that name should have been changed. But uh, Atlanta Braves. I don't get it. Well, I guess with the Atlanta break, you know how they do that tomahawk chop, like at the game, at the game, excuse me, right? And they be doing that chop. I guess that's offensive. To I guess people. It, I guess they could say that. I guess they could say that offensive. Yeah. And Paul brought up another really good point. He said people are getting too butt hurt over everything. Yes. We need to relax and stop taking offense to every little yes. thing. Hey. And you're absolutely right, hey. Paul. I agree with you, brother. Yeah. So yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, everybody know who ain't your mama is. Why are we gonna take that lady? Um, her name and her face and first they took the rag off her head and gave up her yeah <laughs> <laughs> and now they yeah. didn't now they didn't change the name all changed the whole name and took her picture off it's a picture of a building it's not even her picture anymore for real y'all it's Come crazy on. That's I just... don't... and then i heard another remember i haven't seen one but i, I mean i haven't ate there but i heard of what? one the big boy restaurants it's not gonna be called big boys no more <laughs> <laughs> I'm done, y'all. Show over. <laughs> they changed the name. Show over. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's just too damn sensitive, man. Come on, man. That, that makes no sense whatsoever. None. And you know, it used to be a cheese. This is the last one. I'm get off this subject. There used to be a cheese in Australia that was called coon cheese. Oh yeah. I which heard has about been that. that name for 80 years. Yeah. And now they're gonna call it cheer cheese. What? Yeah. Well, here's the I thing. Don't know. Here's the thing about that. Here's mm-hmm. the thing about that. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you brought this up because that just reminded me of something that I remember back in the day. Mm-hmm. In either in either China or Japan, I forgot which one it was. The top selling toothpaste that they had was called Darky Toothpaste. Yeah. Okay, and it had a picture of black a black man with a big ass smile on his face. Mm-hmm. Okay, they changed the name from Darky Toothpaste to Darny Toothpaste or something like that. Darla, D A R L I E. Okay, Darly Toothpaste, mm-hmm. something like that. I knew it was something to that effect. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, you know, do you know what Darly means? I have no idea. Black person toothpaste. <laughs> I'm not making this up. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> What? And you trying to tell me that's not a racial stereotype? <laughs> like nobody else can use this toothpaste but black people. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't. Now, I know that the word for a black person in Japanese is mm-hmm. Gokujin. Now, Darley 
Well, they could have. I guess they can have more than one white privileged person. Mm-hmm. But that, that okay. All right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know I was gonna get off this, but it's a couple of more I wanna I wanna reiterate. Go ahead. Cream of wheat. They're thinking about changing their name. They haven't came up with one, but I'm thinking, what's wrong with cream of wheat? That's what I was getting ready to say. What's wrong with that? And then the Dixie beer. Dixie beer is a known beer in New Orleans, so they're thinking about changing their name, taking Dixie off of it. And of course, the popular girl group Dixie Chicks. Oh, they no. just go by the Chicks now. So I just I agree with your friend Paul. Some of this is it's like tap dancing on ice or uh, stomping on ice and trying. I don't know. I don't know the significance of this change. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Sometimes you just got laughing, folks, man. <laughs> now this one, I'm gonna get you this one because I know you eat these. They thinking about changing the name of the popular candy Chico Stick. I know, baby. Drop the mic. Drop the mic. Just drop the mic. <laughs> drop the mic. Yeah, they thinking about changing the name of the Chico Stick because they feel like it's a slur against Latin Americans. What? Oh. Yep. What? Yep. Yep. I think right there, that's the one that kind of hit me in the side because I like a good old Chico Stick. <laughs> a good old Chico stick is not bad. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess we just gonna have to. When you go into the store, you just can't go in looking for something. Now you have to start asking. It used to be called I don't know the new name, you know, and stuff like that. So good luck to finding your favorite favorite brands in the stores these days, guys. Cause it seems like everything is changing. I don't know if it's for the good or the bad, but hey. Just write it down and keep going, I guess. You okay over there? Paul got something else out there. Mm-hmm. He said, Holly and Hazel marketed Donkey Toothpaste as a parody of an American minstrel performer, Al Jolson. He's absolutely right. That's where they got it from. Mm-hmm. Because Al Jolson used to perform in blackface mm-hmm. with big white lips around his mouth. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's where they got it from. Okay, and uh, he was really, really popular with, with that with that crowd. Because Al Jolson at one point in time was one of the most popular singers in America. Mm-hmm. Okay, and like I said, he was a white dude, a Jewish dude at that. Cause mm-hmm. come to think of it, mm-hmm. and like I said, he would perform in blackface, paint his face all black, you know, white around the eyes, white around the lips, you know, mimicking a black person. Right. And one of his most popular songs was "Wait for It, Mammy." <laughs> you don't say. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the funny part about this whole thing about the Darley toothpaste was called now. Mm-hmm. The blackface is still on the box. Yeah, it is. It just called Darley. They just changed the name. So what's the difference? There is no difference. Exactly. Only thing they did was just take the name and just change. The only thing they did was change the name. Change the name. The meaning behind the name is the same. Yeah. Black people toothpaste. Precisely. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I know things change. I know we all have to evolve. I know that. But if it's not, if it's not broke, why fix it? Yeah, cause some of those names are ridiculous, man. Yeah. Why would you want to? Why would you want to <laughs> change the name to Chico Stick? Oh, what they gonna name it to? Brown candy? No, it's <laughs> orange, isn't it? Orange candy? <laughs> orange? It's gonna be called Orange Stick. Orange Crunchy Stick. Any what? kind of orangey, orangey color? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I just. Good luck in finding what you want in the store and on the shelves. And you know I like Chico Stick. Mm, me too. That's a good piece of candy. Very good piece of candy. My granny used to give us those. She used to give us the long one and a cute little short one. We were in church. We were doing good in church. She hand us a piece of Chico stick. I don't know. I, just, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Moving on. Yeah. Now I know all of us have heard this story. Um, it relates to the subject of the matter. Lay it on us. And I like this store. Lay it on us. I, I've visited this store many, 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 many times in my lifetime. Lay it on us. IKEA. Oh. IKEA decided to hold a Juneteenth celebration for their employees and patrons, which is the customers. But in between that time, before they decided to hold the event, they passed out a menu telling everybody what they were going to be serving. Fried chicken and watermelon. What? <laughs> and then, you know, I'm pretty sure it was mentioned that 
some other race made up the menu. <laughs> and then they tried to come back and I guess CYA by saying, well, we have other things. We have collard greens. <laughs> Sweet potato yams. <laughs> same thing to me, right? Sweet potato yams are the same thing. So, I don't know how to take this article. I don't know if I should be offended, but I must say some of the employees were upset. They did not come into work that day. And Ikea just don't know why. They had no idea why those employees took offense to the menu. This is for Ikea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know why they didn't come in to work mm -mm. They okay even whoever made the menu didn't know the history behind Juneteenth most companies of that size either give out hot dogs and a bag of chips like you said earlier pizza and a coke yeah popcorn or something but yeah who does fried chicken <laughs> who does fried chicken in one month let me, let me just say this real quick <laughs> <clears throat> let me say this real quick and you know at some companies they have like what they call you know potluck and whatnot mm -hmm. they always ask people what are you going to bring mm -hmm. or if they have something like let's say a, a christmas party or whatever they'll have people choose what they want to have at this particular party and whatnot mm -hmm. every company i've been to that's done that they've, they've done just that mm -hmm. They don't just pop stuff out there. Well, they black, so what we're going to do is we're going to do some fried chicken. We're going to do some watermelon. Don't forget the mac and cheese. We're going to do some mac and cheese. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, we're going to do potato salad. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -oh. The red Kool-Aid. Oh, not the red Kool-Aid. <laughs> I, uh, I think they will... I know what they were going for. Do you really? Can you explain I, I, to me? I get it. I don't get I it. I get it, but I get it, but I think that they should have done some research. Mm -hmm. That's just what. That's what, I mean. They're, they're trying to accommodate some of the things that black people, know, the, the black people, the st that the stereotypical black person would eat. But that's what they sold. No, sorry. That's what they fed to the slaves. Exactly. That's the reason why so many black people eat watermelon because of the fact that there was a time that was all they had to eat. That was it. You seen a big old platter in there? I like. Don't get me wrong. I like watermelon. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely. My co-host does too. I got a big old platter in the refrigerator right now. She does. Now. She really does. <laughs> she really does. She does. She got a big old plate of it in there. So I just think this is a little insensitive, and it caused a lot of people to I be agree. upset. I agree. People was thinking about quitting. And even though yeah. I know Ikea is a nice place to work And they pay exceptionally they pay well, well But they was in offended And I probably would have been offended too I like Ikea definitely. I like Ikea's furniture I really do mm -hmm. I mean this. I mean, come on it's nice If mm -hmm. you have a small space like what I have I have a small one bedroom apartment mm -hmm. Ikea is the best place for you to shop mm -hmm. It's a little pricey but it's the best place for you but to it's shop But it's sustainable <laughs> furniture though Yes it is it really very is Very sustainable it really and very is. economical you can use it It's multifunctional Right exactly it's multifunctional Right Paul brought up another really good point in mm -hmm. the chat room. Man, you're driving some jewels, Paul. They might have to have you call in. Mm -hmm. um, he said, this is the reason for the holiday, education. Mm. If you are going to do something like that, you have to make sure that you are going to step on, make sure you are not going to step on toes from a cultural standpoint. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. But let me read this statement from Upper Management. Okay. She said, I truly apologize. The menu came off subjective subjective <laughs> I don't know if subjective is a good word to use but that is what she she said and she said none of the co-workers who sat down to create the menu no one was black they interviewed one of the workers to say that she said I'm a little disappointed that they didn't consult with someone black about what the meaning of Juneteenth mean and possibly come up with the menu together that was, that's what I just said. Yeah. That's what I just said. I yeah. mean, because normally what they would do in a situation like that is they would let the they would ask the coworkers, "Hey, what would you like to have at right. this particular celebration? Mm -hmm. This, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Do you think it's a learning curve? I'm not going to say it's a learning curve. I'm just going to say that it was it was meant in good faith, in my opinion, mm -hmm. but it just came off all the way wrong because you didn't ask. In my opinion, you know, I have one. Right. 
I think they sat down at their pretty little computer and Googled Juneteenth. Uh huh. That's and exactly this, what happened. And this what popped up, yep. and they ran with it. Yep, exactly. They didn't think. <laughs> they didn't think. They didn't think it through. They didn't think it through at all. Okay, one more quick shout out before we get to this all relating to our theme today. Okay. I want to give a shout out to Miss Opal Lee. She is the considered the grandmother of Juneteenth. She is 94 years old and she is officially happy that Juneteenth has become a national holiday. She is from Fort Worth, Texas. And I remember in, I believe it was 2016, she was a civil rights leader and she walked from Fort Worth, Texas to Washington, D.C. Wow. She was hoping President Obama would be there, but he was in Chicago. She said that's the only thing she hated about the whole thing is she didn't get a chance to meet him. But every step that she took, she said she is glad she did it. And the other day when she found out that it was going to become a national holiday, they gave her a special ticket and flew her out. And she was right in the room when Biden signed the bill. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Very nice. Okay, now let's go on to the Juneteenth Epiphany. Real quick. Mm-hmm. Real quick, Paul put up another good point. Mm-hmm. He said the he said we gotta keep in mind that upper management for IKEA is located in the Netherlands. Mm. Oh well, they never. Sh- I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> they should have got somebody over here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, because I don't think they even know what. Do they know what fried chicken is over there? <laughs> I don't. You know what? I know that the Netherlands is, you know, mostly white folks. That's what I'm saying. They probably thinking chicken is chicken. They probably think exactly. it's Kentucky fried chicken. Or something like that. <laughs> I, that doesn't tell them. That's what I'm telling them, man. But, you know, you got to understand something about the Netherlands. That's white, white, white. Yeah, that's okay? like, They're like Casper. Bl- <laughs> that's what I'm saying. They're blonde hair, blue eyed white. Yeah. So, you know, blondes, blondes over there in the Netherlands are like, they grow on trees over there. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they don't really know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Good point, Paul. I didn't know that. Oh yeah. They well, are. I knew they was a foreign, but yeah, it's a foreign know, company. Yeah. So yeah. Wow. <laughs> good point. Very good point. Okay. So uh-huh. Juneteenth Epiphany. Juneteenth, the Epiphany of Juneteenth, and then, and like I said, there's a reason why I call it an epiphany mm-hmm. because people are taking this particular holiday and they are just running with it, which running them up. I don't have. I, I, you know, first of all, making it a national holiday, in my personal opinion, was a waste of paper. Mm. Because we've been celebrating Juneteenth since day one. Mm-hmm. Well, Texas hasn't. Texas hasn't? Texas got it two years <clears throat> later than everybody else. Well, that's my whole point. That's, that's the whole point behind Juneteenth. Mm-hmm. Because June 19th, 1865 is when the last of the slaves were freed right here in Galveston. Right, well, right Galveston. not here, but, but in Galveston, Galveston. Texas. Mm-hmm. You know. That's what that's that's the whole that's the whole point behind Juneteenth. So yeah, we've been and ever since that day. But uh, nationally, nationally, it was it was awarded back in January. Yeah. So we got a whole two years and what six months later. Right. <laughs> so you know, but but still, nah. but but still, you know, that's that's the whole thing behind that. Yeah, I get I get the premise of it. I do. Right. I do. But, right. Yeah. So anyway, on your screen, I have a Juneteenth flag. Mm-hmm. This is the official Juneteenth flag. Hmm. I okay. didn't know it was a flag. Oh yeah, that's a flag. It's been worn since two thousand. Hmm. Nineteen ninety nine, two thousand, something along in there. Hmm. But anyway, this flag has some significance to it. Mm-hmm. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, those of you who don't know the history behind this flag is this right here. Let, let, let's talk about the history of Juneteenth first. See, June nineteenth, eighteen sixty five. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about that real okay. quick. Okay. June 19, 1865. Now, the slaves, when the Emancipation Proclamation was signed, well, let me get some, give you some history about the Emancipation Proclamation that a lot of people don't know. Um, the Emancipation Proclamation didn't really free the slaves. No. That's all. It, it didn't free the slaves at all. Only thing it did was transfer ownership of slaves from the Confederacy to the Union. Yep. That's all it did. So everybody that keeps on saying the Emancipation Proclamation freed the slaves, no. get that out your head. Mm-hmm. All right. That's not what happened. Think I'm lying. Look it up for yourself. Yep. But anyway, once the Emancipation Proclamation was signed and all the slaves were so-called freed. Uh, well, that's, that's also a way of them saying that we were all made equal. Right. But we weren't. No, we weren't. Mm-mm. But anyway, mm-hmm. uh, once once that was signed, you got to understand something. This is a, this is in, in in the 1860s. Mm-hmm. There's no internet. There's no telephones. There's no television. There's none of that. 
So a lot of times, so for the longest time, p- places like Galveston, Texas mm-hmm. didn't get news about stuff till like years later. Mm-hmm. Case in point, the Emancipation Proclamation being signed. Mm-hmm. So on June 19th, uh, some troops was coming down and they said, what are y'all still doing working these fields? They're like, wait a minute, we're slaves. They said, no, you're not. Slavery been over for the past couple of years. Yeah, I'm free. Y'all is free. <laughs> and so, and so, of course, they were like, wait a minute. Are you for real? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't lying. And so now, June 19th, and so, and that was on June 19th of 1865 in Galveston, Texas. Mm-hmm. And so that's when this holiday came into fruition. And after that, people started celebrating it. Mm-hmm. So that's where it came into play. So anyway, that's the history behind the holiday. Now, the history behind the flag. Okay. Now, let's look at this flag real quick. Okay. Because there's, there's, there's some definitely history about the flag and what these symbols on the flag mean. Okay. The star on the flag, as you can clearly see right in the middle, that's the representation of the state of Texas. Okay. That makes okay, that's sense. That's where that comes from. Mm-hmm. Okay. Represents Texas. Okay. Okay. So I had to take a little bit of drink. No, it's not alcoholic. So get that out your head. I'm drinking water. Okay. Now the starburst around the 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 the, the uh, Texas Lone Star. Uh, it represents the new beginning of the slaves of Galveston, Texas. You know, bursting out, going out to explore the world. Okay. Okay. Now, the arc in the middle, it represents a new horizon. You know, promises of things to come. Mm -hmm. Okay. And of course, the colors red, white, and blue is that we're Americans, but only when it's convenient for us to be Americans. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole meaning behind behind that flag. It's a nice flag. Mm-hmm. I've never seen it before. Very nice. Yeah. Where yeah. is it? Where is it displayed? Is it? Is it in anybody's? Um, Anybody can get this flag. Federal building? Is it in front of any schools? Any libraries? No. Post offices? No. Any, I mean, you can just buy this flag and display it however you want to display it. Oh, uh, just for personal, not for businesses. Right. You can um, do whatever you want. Some some businesses, very few, fly this flag. Do they? I wonder which one. You know, very few. One? I don't know of any right now. But very few businesses uh, talk about this, even fly this flag. Really? Yeah, very few. Hmm. Okay, good to know. So that's the history behind that flag. That's the history behind Juneteenth. So a little bit of history lesson because you know I drop jewels of history all the time on this show. Absolutely. So, that was that. Hmm. And I hope you enjoyed it. Very nice. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, very indeed. nice teaching. Yeah, I appreciate that. But anyway, um, let's talk about this whole uh, Juneteenth thing mm-hmm. and why it's, why it's a national holiday. The reason why I say that this whole thing about Juneteenth being a national holiday is a big waste of time is because, like I said, ever since, ever since Juneteenth was in fruition, we've been celebrating it. Mm-hmm. In Oklahoma City, they have a Juneteenth celebration every year. This is nothing new. So I don't see the point in making it a national holiday because we've been doing this ever since day one. Now, in my personal opinion, this is just another way for somebody to capitalize off of something that black people have created yet again. Because you know, because you know that uh, black people created Memorial Day, the slaves did. Yeah. And that's what you and I was talking about. I remember Memorial Day being that my grandmother would make us put on all white. Yep. And we would go to the family cemetery. Yep. And we would clean off the cemetery and put fresh flowers out on everyone's grave, mm-hmm. headstone, in remembrance of them passing on heaven, hell, wherever their soul went. Right, right. I don't know how it became about, don't get me wrong, I'm very honored that we have military to protect us every day. Right. But I don't remember how memorial day flipped over to service men and women i don't i don't know which brings me back to my next point Mm -hmm. what's going to happen and it's already starting to happen with this particular holiday is that the narrative of this holiday is going to be changed 
Right, and the narrative of this holiday it's already being changed in some form of fashion they're trying to now incorporate lgbtqia ideals into this holiday mm-hmm. because i saw this one thing celebrate juneteenth but make it queer hmm. queer really i've seen that let me look that up real quick so i don't want to i don't want to buy, i think i'm lying hold on Yeah, <laughs> I don't even have words. Well, like I said, you know, it's I, I it's, don't have words. It's, it's 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 this only happens with Black holidays. Mm-hmm. This doesn't happen with July the Fourth. Mm-hmm. This doesn't happen with Thanksgiving. This doesn't happen with Christmas. This doesn't happen with any other ho- Columbus Day. This doesn't happen with none of those holidays. Mm-hmm. Why do you have to incorporate? LGBTQIA ideals into Juneteenth. Hmm. Why is that? I honestly don't have a clue. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Well, that's what they're trying to do. Make yeah, that's the, that, that's 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 exactly what they're trying to do. I mean, you know, it's it's. And I was hearing this. I was uh, listening to another podcast a while back few days ago when they were talking about the whole Juneteenth celebration you know making you know people going getting all butterflies in the stomach because it's, it's a national holiday now and um, one thing that they were saying is that Juneteenth celebrates freedom for everyone yeah that's what I was just I'm reading here now <laughs> last time I checked Everybody wasn't slave. Everybody wasn't slave. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe my history is a little bit fuzzy. Mm-hmm. Am I wrong? Mm-mm. So he how- said, I'm gonna read what he said. He said, "What Juneteenth really represents is the promise for all Americans no. to be free. No, it's the promise of tomorrow. It's the promise of the future for everyone, not just black people." Wow! See what I'm talking about? We can't have. See, nothing. I told you. Now you see why I call them an appropriate. They're trying to re, they're trying to reappropriate and change the narrative of Juneteenth. Now you see why I say that. And did you know that there was three states that was holding out: North Dakota, South Dakota, and Hawaii. North Dakota and, and Hawaii went ahead and approved it, but South Dakota is still kind of like holding out. They don't want to honor it. Damn. Well, think about this. <laughs> think about this. It took Arizona forever to acknowledge MLK Day. True. That was that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. What's the, I don't understand. What what's what? Okay. Go ahead. I, I, I'm go ahead. <laughs> nah, go ahead. Say what you gotta say. It's bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, but it is. It's bullshit. We can't have one thing just. I mean, you you do know there were slaves. That's not a myth. Yeah. Most slaves were black. All of them were, for the most part. That's not a myth. That's not a myth. 174, 40 years later, we Mm. got this bill that was just signed. And you still don't want to. I mean, what what do Can we have anything? Nope. And that's the point I'm having a hard time understanding. Why not? And that goes along the lines of me just talking a while ago. They're trying to Jeez. redirect that narrative of this particular holiday. And they're trying to share it. Yeah. <laughs> <Good. laughs> they want you to share it. They want. They, they don't want you to have everything. They, they, they don't want you to have nothing just for you. It's three hundred and sixty-five days in a year. Right. At first, ten of those days were national holidays. Right. Supposedly, Juneteenth is going to make the eleventh national holiday. Right. So if you subtract eleven from three sixty five, what is that? Fifty four. Yeah, three sixty four. So you don't think there is another day that LB LBQ yeah that that they can. Ha- I mean, they did we just say this the whole month of June was their month month a, yeah. a Pride month. Yeah, you have a whole month. Jeez. Okay. All right. I, okay. Okay. 
Well, you see where I'm getting at, don't you? Okay. So, in the past, before it was nationally recognized the other day, uh, we used to get together in like what they would consider the black part of the city. Right. And we would honor Juneteenth. Right. We would have like a little parade, uh-huh. and they turn into like a little block party. Right. Barbecue grills come out. Right. Uh, Mama and Papa and, and Aunt Sarah and they would make their little special tea cakes and pound oh, cakes. Yeah. Sometimes they'll give them away for free. Sometimes yeah. they'll sell them. Oh, yeah. Uh, what are we gonna do now? So we are gonna give out what? No disrespect to anyone. What I'm about to say. So what we gonna do now? Give out rainbow color cookies <laughs> and um uh, those little colorful beads that they give out at Mardi Gras on Juneteenth. Why can't we just have this? Uh-huh. Call me ludicrous or call me insensitive. At this moment, I don't care. I'm having a hard time understanding this. Mm-hmm. It took forever to be recognized. Right. Again, two right. years after the, it was announced. Mm-hmm. Then when it finally do become a bill, you're trying to make it share with... Uh, okay. Go ahead, Reggie. I, I don't have nothing to say. Paul brought another good point. He said, to honor Juneteenth, we should celebrate by acknowledging the contribution made by those that led the way before us and educate others about these uh, uh, about these black LGBTQ trailblazers. He's quoting the site. See, Paul sees what I'm talking about. They're trying to appropriate that. They, they, they're trying to incorporate the whole LGBTQ, wow, the alphabet people agenda into this particular holiday. Why? Because it's in June? Because it's in June and June is Pride Month, they trying to equate it to be the same or something? Good question. It's two different things. I agree. And see, that's another thing I don't like. They keep on trying to equate the LGBTQIA struggle with the black struggle. And that's apples and oranges, people. Were they slaves? Not true enough. They, were, they probably were some gay slaves. I'm not saying that they weren't. But they were putting the same power to everybody else. They didn't care. Correct. But now that they've been distinguished and have their own coalition, for lack of a and better do, word. And they get funding from who? The government. All the time. All the time. Is they going to do the same thing for Juneteenth? No. Which goes me back to reparations. <laughs> Say that now. So can we get reparations for Juneteenth? No. It's not going to happen. Why not? Because. You know, made a federal bill. The way, the way it's set up right now, and it's been this way since day one. And Dr. John Henry Clark made a really good point, and I'm going to quote him in just a minute. Mm-hmm. Black people, since we've been quote unquote freed, have we still only control one half of one percent of this nation's wealth and resources? Now let's speed up to 2020, 2021. We still only control one half of one percent of this nation's wealth and resources. Mm-hmm. Now John Henry Clark said this, the master teacher. I wish I would I wish I would have had the opportunity to learn under this man. I would have learned a lot from him. Mm-hmm. He said that black people have not, the, the needle has not moved not one bit for black people financially. Mm-hmm. But socially we have because mm-hmm. social because we have we can we can socialize with other people and all that good stuff. We can marry whoever the hell we want to marry. Right. We can go to schools for the most part wherever the hell we want to go to school at. Mm-hmm. We can live for the most part wherever the hell we want to live at. Mm-hmm. But we still own less than one half of 1% of this nation's wealth and resources. Mm. So how do we progress? We didn't. Like I said before, just like the little hamster in the wind. Exactly. Little hamsters are still going, different days, still running. Right. And and this is tying in to previous shows. This is all tying in to previous shows and stuff that we talked about before. Mm, mm, mm. It's beginning to be, play off your word, an epiphany. Yeah. That this will never be an ending cycle for this culture. We will always be fighting for some kind of justification, some kind of racial clearance, something that can be considered ours. Right. And it, it, they will fight us tooth and nail. Just like the Republicans mm-hmm. not signing the voting bill. Mm-hmm. Now they trying to tell you how to vote. Mm-hmm. Why can't something just be 
utterly straightforward by the books without any ramifications and why can't it just be ours because they put us in the in, uh, seat of power they don't want that they want to keep us fed with crumbs from the table mm-hmm. they don't want us to have our own table that's part of the problem because if we had our own table, we wouldn't need them for anything. Case in point, Black Wall Street. I'm going I'm to I'm read this quote that I found on Twitter right. by a young man called Ultra Black. He said, my thoughts on Juneteenth becoming a federal holiday, mm-hmm. question mark, question mark. It's cool and all. But as Malcolm X said, the white man will try to satisfy us with symbolic victories rather than economic equity and, and real justice i love malcolm. when i tell you that's not a true statement right there i love malcolm see and how did he see that so <clears throat> far back yonder there let me tell you something <laughs> let me ask you this and you know it's to be true i'm going to go i'm going to go ahead and ask you this what did i say about that last what did i say about juneteenth last week i said the very same thing didn't i mm-hmm. it's, it's an empty symbol it's yeah. an empty symbolic gesture you sure did it's a pacify yeah to shut us up yep basically yep mm-hmm they do that all the time. Same mm-hmm. deal with um, naming the street after Malcolm X. Yep. And if they, you go anywhere in any of these states and any of these country, this country, why is it pretty much? I haven't been to every state in the country, but Malcolm X is one of the worst streets. M- and MLK. And MLK. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're right. And Paul could back me up on this one. Um, MLK. Boulevard in Oklahoma City. I mean, MLK is a Boulevard or Drive. I can't remember which one it is. Mm-hmm. Is in is is in a pretty bad part of town mm-hmm. in Oklahoma City. Mm-hmm. It really is. That's some good food on this trip. I ain't gonna even lie. But for the most part, it's not a very good part. It's not a it's not a very good part of the city. Mm-mm. I don't know not one that's in like a astute white part of the neighborhood. I don't. And you know never will. One. And you never will. I don't know. I you don't never know will. And to piggyback off of what. Ultra Black said mm-hmm. He's absolutely right Black people will take all these symbolic gestures And some black people will roll with them mm-hmm. But the one that's got some sense Like me and you We'll see through the bullshit for what it is We're not going to fall for the banana in the tailpipe mm-hmm. Let's ask Can we get uh, uh, the Senate on the phone Because I have a couple of questions <laughs> Why haven't they made lynching a federal holiday Or a hate crime because it only happens to black people. Mm-hmm. Why haven't they passed the George Floyd bill? That would put us in the seat of power. Mm-hmm. Why is it that the black farmers are having such a hard time and the white farmers are continuing to flourish? Again, that put us in the seat of power. Mm-hmm. Why isn't the John Lewis bill been passed and that's been on there and that man done passed away and it still hasn't been put? What's going on? Well, let me go back even further than that. Mm-hmm. The whole thing about reparations Mm -hmm. and that bill being signed, that actually started with Frederick Douglass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here we are, 200 years, two, almost 200, almost 300 years later. 21st century. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It still hasn't been passed. Mm -hmm. Just want to ask you so, how is it that Juneteenth bypassed all of those bills and and laws and, and whatever that's been sitting on these Senate Republicans? I'm going to say Republicans. I know there are some Democrats, but Senate Republicans, desk, offices, inbox, outbox, email, trade, whatever. Right. But y'all passed Juneteenth with the quickness. Mm-hmm. My question is, is it a paid holiday? And is it going to be a recognized paid holiday? Here's, here's a million dollar question. Are you going to close the bank? Who's going to recognize it? That's the question. That's what I'm saying. Who gonna, who, who's who? going to recognize mm-hmm. it? Or the bank's going to close? Or what? the post office going to start running mail? But see, this is why it's an epiphany. That's why I call it an epiphany. There are so many unanswered questions. Don't get me wrong. Please, people, do not get me wrong. Juneteenth becoming a federal holiday is a huge win and a milestone. But we just can't let that be the end all, the end all. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Exactly my point. That's where I'm going. That's we what, can't that's be where like, yay, yeah, yes, thank you, thank you. That can't be it. No. No. Too many people have marched and protested for us to have so much more. Exactly. And every little inch they give us, they give it to it and they try to spin it and put a twist to it. Yeah. Why? Exactly. It's all about the power struggle. It's, it's all not, about it's being not a struggle. The power. It's, it's a power struggle for them. We're not fighting. That's them who fighting. I agree. I don't get it. I agree. If you look at the Hidden Colors movies, um, and I gotta bring those over here so you can watch them yeah. from, mm-hmm. from front to back. Mm-hmm. If you if you actually watch those, Doctor uh, 
Copper here Wapa Kamene, he said this in the Hidden Colors. He said, black people don't have a problem. White people have a problem. Exactly. That's why you said, why? What's the problem? Can somebody, if somebody could just answer that, maybe I understand. Dr. Yusef Ben Yakinen, a.k.a. Dr. Ben, he said this. He said, they don't hate us because we're black. They hate us because they're white. Hmm. And that's what I was saying. This article I read the other day, this man said that white people are psychopathic. 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 Because they try to do things that justify the means of their ways. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you, they did that with the Bible. You gonna drive yourself crazy? They did that with the Bible. Trying to justify you being. They white. justified. They, they justify slavery with the Bible. Think about it. Mm. They use that one passage in the Bible to say to tell black people, "See, you're meant to be slaves." Here right. it goes right here. Absolutely, yeah. You right about that. But let's just, let's 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 talk about this as well. You know, okay. yeah, like I said. Very proud, big win right. that Juneteenth became a federal holiday. But on the flip side of that, as far as them trying to twist it and add it to something else for the, the alphabet people, yeah, they're trying to enact a law now where you can't even teach it in the schools because of what we talked about last week. Oh yeah, critical race theory. Mm-hmm. So affect the September first. Uh huh. Your kid probably won't even know what Juneteenth is. <laughs> <laughs> so why would he sign a bill and it won't be even get to be taught in the school district does that make sense now that's a mic drop that is a mic drop moment and i wish there was a mic drop sound on this thing but there isn't one that's what i'm saying please don't get me wrong people these are my thoughts these is my melanated thoughts right but these people don't sign these people joe biden signed a bill to make Juneteenth a federal holiday. Yeah. But in the interim, a couple of days later, <laughs> enacted another bill to prevent it being taught as being a holiday. Isn't it a dub a double negative? What do they call a double entendre? Yeah, you said it right. It's a double negative. I mean, you know, why would you even think about considering this a holiday when they're not going to learn about it? They're not going to learn about the history of the holiday because critical race theory isn't being taught in the schools. Mm. And speaking of critical race theory, there was a guy, black dude, like I told you, there's people on both sides of the fence that don't want this taught. Mm-hmm. They think it's a waste of time and whatnot. They don't, they, they, this fly don't want to talk. Mm-hmm. This black guy, I forgot the guy's name. He's supposed to be like a radio host or something like that. And I wish it would have had the video pulled up. And he was bringing up every single coon talking point that coons always say. He's, he was one of those ones that, well, I grew up in poverty. I made it out. How come you can't? I don't think there's no such thing as racism. You know the whole, you know the, the, the whole, the whole spiel. Kind of like the whole Morgan Freeman b- bullshit that he was talking about. If you just talk, stop talking about racism, it wouldn't exist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say this, and I'm uh, if y'all don't know out there, I'm a black woman. Yes, she is, <laughs> and I'm proud to be a black. Yes, woman. Yes, indeed. I come from a long line of proud black women. Yes, you did. I grew up in the country. Yes. I shook peas. Yes. I planted did corn. Did too that. Did that too. Got up in the morning, had to feed the hogs did and get the too. eggs did and wash too. clothes and hang them on the line before I went to school. I did that too. When I got home from school, I had to help chop wood, bring the wood mm. in, help Granny do dinner, mm. then clean up, and I bet not make less than a B. Mm. And if I got a B, they want to know why it wasn't an A. Come on. Because I'm tired as hell when I go to school in the morning. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know everything I do before I go to school in the morning? But I'm still trying to sit there and not fall asleep in class. Right. I know if I bring in a little gram, I'm getting my tail toe up. Right. (laughs) Why can't we just, why, why can't we just win? Why can't we just win at something? Well, you know, they bring those coons out for a reason. And it's, okay, I said to say this. What part of America did he grow up in? Well, you know, when I saw this guy, I'm like, I bet he's he's not from here. That's what I just to say. Is he Jamaican? He's either Jamaican no, no, or no, African. No, 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 no. disrespect to the Jamaicans. No, no Because there's some riders out there. Uh huh. Is he from Africa? Yeah. Is he from England? Yeah. And they got black people in England. Oh yeah, lots of them. He wasn't born here. I don't think he was because if he do his research, slavery was a real deal, Holyfield. Thank you, but he's but like I said, he has a whole Morgan Freeman mentality. He has a Morgan Freeman 
philosophy, that whole little Wayne philosophy. No, that uh, the football player. Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker. He has that mentality too. Yeah. Yeah, that coon mentality. <laughs> he, but here's the thing. I started researching this dude, and guess who he's clicked up with? Hmm. Candace Owens. Girl, oh my God. Yeah, oh, it gets girl, better. I, can't, I don't like that girl right there. It gets better. I'm going to call her woman. That's a child. It gets better. Mm-hmm. Guess who else is clicked up with? Who? Larry Elder. Oh, my God. Stop the presses. Oh, Stop I got the, one more for you. Stop the presses. I got, oh, this one's going to be the piece of resistance right here. Mm-hmm. Clarence Thomas. Oh, well, okay. Drop the mic again. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough said right there. <laughs> so when I saw all that, I'm like, well, I can see why he's saying all that now. He I can see why he's saying he, all he, that. He, he don't have a clue. No, he doesn't. He has no clue. He has no clue whatsoever. When I saw the picture of him and Clay and Candace Owens all clicked up together, I'm like, oh, yeah, there you go. That's why. Mm. That's why right there. I don't even know how people like that even have a platform to stand on if people believe and listen to what they're saying because it's not true. You just answered your own question. It's not true. You just answered your own well, question. But you'll be surprised how many followers they have and people That's believe my whole point. what they're saying. That's kind of where I was going. That's kind of where I was getting at because they have a following. People actually listen to them. They really do. Now, I ain't never like Candace Owens. Mm, ever. Mm-mm. Me neither. Not knocking black women because I love black women. Absolutely. It's kind of obvious. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm with a black woman right now. Hello. Hello. Come Hello. on now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy. But anyway, but I've never liked Candace Owens. Mm-mm. Now, I'm not knocking black. You no- know, I'm a lover of black women. Yes, indeed. Something about her, though. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, and it's not that. And she's not an, an unattractive black woman. No, she's not. She's very beautiful. She's very pretty. Yeah. But it's her ideals but when her it men- comes to other black people. Her mentality yeah. is. Yeah. It's all the way. It's all the way off. Mm-hmm. You know. It's just, you know. And like I said, I'm not knocking her at all. Mm-hmm. But her ideals when it comes to other black people, nah, you lost him with that shit. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. So whenever I hear somebody like Candace Owens talk stuff about black people and you know blah blah blah, I just turn the television off. I'm going to go back to what we said when we started this show. Okay. And when you announced that you're going to be doing books to read to enhance your knowledge. Yeah. To further your knowledge. Yeah. People, do your research. Please do. Do your homework. Don't sit up there and let somebody (laughs) drive you crazy. Yeah. With their nonsense. Yeah. Because all of that is pure rhetoric and it's nonsense. There you go. It's It's all of this. I'm sorry. Anybody that, that listens to Candace Owens, Larry Elder, um, Clarence, Clarence Thomas, uh, Jesse Lee Peterson, Herschel, Herschel Walker was bumbling ass. Anybody that listened, J.C. Watts, um, it, was under, it was somebody else I was going to think. You know who too. I'm on the fence about? I'm who? still torn between him. That's that O.J. Simpson. I don't know if O.J. is. Is he doing it for the masses? Is he doing it for the prestige? Is he a show pony? But he said something the other day about Juneteenth. I was like, huh? What did he say? <laughs> OJ ain't been black since he was 17. <laughs> and you know, he should have got a wake up call. When they put him in jail, he was trying to steal back his own stuff. <laughs> that would have told me, you know what? These people don't care about me at all. That's just like you. That's just like me. Hypothetically speaking, that's just like let's just say you know me from Adam. Mm-hmm. I steal your BMW. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You find out where I got it, mm-hmm. and you come back and, ca- and take your BMW. I report your oh, your BMW stolen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Her BMW's name Lovey, y'all. Yeah, but anyway, but anyway, that's what that's like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you gonna try to bring me back my own shit? Excuse my French. You gonna try to sell me and give me back something that's already mine? Exactly. And I'm gonna be like, oh, okay, no problem. Here's five thousand dollars. Come on, man. But think about this: that little scenario that you just, that we just talked about. That's how I feel about Juneteenth. It's prevalent. It's very prevalent, and it's so mundane. That's how I feel about Juneteenth. Oh how the hell are you gonna sit up here and tell us it's a holiday? That's just like, like I said, that's like me coming to your house. I got the key to your house. Mm-hmm. I said, hey, babe, I got something for you. Mm-hmm. Guess what it is. It's the key to your house. But I'm already living here. Exactly. I, I agree with what D.L. Higley said the other day. He said if they're going to make it a national holiday, he feel like all black people should be taking a day off and all we, white people got to go to work. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
that's funny, but I like. <laughs> but I agree with. He said all black people should get paid off the day off, and all white people should go to work. I bet they'll uh, they'll change it to a paid holiday then. Thank you. <laughs> wow. I mean, we 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 making jokes, y'all. We having fun, but seriously though, this is crazy. This that's, is crazy. That's why I call it an epiphany. That's exactly what it is—a big epiphany. When is it going to get better? I know that's an asinine question, but when is it going to get better? Well, the thing of it is, it has to get better in stages. And what I mean by stages is, you got to get better uh, economically. Mm-hmm. Once you get it better economically, you got to get it better uh, physically, socially. Socially too. <laughs> I, agree so with you on, socially. I agree with you on the social aspect yeah. of it. There's so many layers that you have to fix. But haven't we been doing that over so the years though? We've been well, the thing of it is, here's the thing. And I've said this to several people. It's kinda like when you have when, when you're in a marriage and you try and, and one person wants to work out the marriage and the other person doesn't. Mm-hmm. When you get into that ring and you try to fight mm-hmm. and only one person's throwing punches, mm. it's kinda pointless. And that's pretty much what's going on right now Because black people are in the ring with racism mm-hmm. We're throwing the punches And the other people that Perpetuates racism aren't throwing any punches mm-hmm. So what's the point? So we just swing it for no reason There you go Lord, Lord. And I had this conversation with my friend David And I gotta give him a call because he isn't feeling well mm-hmm. uh, I was telling him That black people can't Stop racism We didn't invent it I remember that's when I first met you. We we had a conversation about that, and you were like black people can't be racist. We're not. We can be prejudiced as hell. Yeah, we can be prejudiced, but we can't be racist. We didn't. That's not our word. That's not our thing. That's not our thing. We yeah. don't hate people because of because of their 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 because of their race. We hate you because of what you did. Yeah. For the, I mean, you know, come what on, let's be real. Us. Yeah, and exactly. My ancestors. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well. um you want to open the lines? Yeah, I would love to open. I like to hear people's thoughts. Um, Hold on, let, po- me put, let, me put, let me put it up there. Okay. I put it up there, and I go ahead and see it too on the on the airways. The podcast number is four six nine six three eight three four five nine. Go ahead and give us a call if you can, and let us know your thoughts. Or if you have um, answers or an opinion about anything else we spoke about today, I would love to hear. We both would love to hear it. Nas, if you listen, brother, please call in. Oh, yeah, please, Nas. Les, you too. Your right. if, you, if you're not driving too much, Les, if you still got a signal, man, give us a buzz. And your friend, Paul. Paul, man, we'd yeah, love Paul to hear from you, brother. Hear from you as well. By all means, call. Call and in. You have been dropping some nice little Yeah, you have been dropping some line. good stuff, man. You've been dropping some really good stuff, man. We would love to hear from you. So, you know, if, you, if you're brave enough to call in, Paul, by all means. Mm-hmm. But. But yeah, we'd love to hear from some people's opinions and stuff like that and just give us a narrative of what they have to say. Let me reiterate. I don't want nobody to come off as thinking that, you know, I'm I'm a, a, I don't understand what's going on or that I'm just oblivious to what's going on. But in the end, you guys, it's still hard to believe. I agree. That like I told you, I grew up in the country. I've seen I've never been called an N-word, nigga, whatever. I've heard it being said to other people. And I've seen how white people treated my uncles and my grandmothers and my aunts and i see how white people treated us because we say in the country but when we went quote unquote uptown right i've seen the difference don't get me wrong i've experienced it Mm -hmm. but i still don't Mm -hmm. see how many 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 moons ago that we are still like that hamster and this is my favorite analogy the hamster in the wheel mm-hmm. different day different millennium different time mm-hmm. same hamster same hamster so that's why i keep saying what are we doing just like you, you your analogy i compare it to an onion you know how onion have layers and yeah. you peel back the layers yeah we pretty much to the core of the onion pretty much and then what, what are we gonna get all the only thing we're doing is still shedding tears that's it because sometimes when you peel an onion it makes you cry yes it does I don't get it. So that's just, a real good analogy right there. I thank like that. you, thank you. Like <laughs> but I'm just saying, it just makes you wonder what more. How much? How much more do you think we as a culture can take? We tried to do it on our own with Black Street. You bombed us, and other like the other places y'all were talking yeah, about. Yeah, lots of places. Florida and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, 
we we went to school and got an education you don't want us to see it that way we 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 sh- we used to shuck and jive just to make it now we have our own businesses you still don't want to give us no pre- what more all right here we go what's up who's calling uh your buddy paul Oh, what's up, Paul? How you doing, Hi, man? Hi, Paul. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So I had to step outside, enjoy a little bit of fresh air, and give you guys a call and talk a couple of subjects. Nice. Okay, let's hear it, man. What you got? So you saw some of the posts that I made on the chat. Right. Um, when it comes down to Juneteenth, they had to do something to please somebody. Yeah. They really did. You look, you look at George Floyd, Floyd you, look you look at all the deaths that happened during COVID, COVID and everything, everything was locked up and all the civil rights that happened. From a political standpoint, they just could not let it slide by. Hmm. Oh, okay. So basically what you're saying is that they just threw something out there just to shut people up. Yeah. Hmm. If you look at the last thing I posted in the chat for you. Okay, I'm looking. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Um, guy pulls out a cheek on his wife. Mm-hmm. Come home all guilty with roses and hands the roses who are trying to make it all better. Right. Now apply to politics and black people. Hmm. Ah. Wow, good that's, analogy, that's, man. That's deep. That, that that's is. real deep. Apply to white people and black people. <laughs> right. Um, so that's what's being done. And it's no fault of their own because they don't know any better. We're dealing with ramifications that happen. Not, Not only before, before we, we were born, born but damn near before our parents were born. Precisely. Okay, so, so it's nothing that we create. We, we just have, have to find a way to live, work with it, deal, deal with it, and move on. Right. You know, it, 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 it goes back to a lot of what you were saying about black people not knowing racism. We didn't create it. Right. Technically, this nation didn't create it at the standpoint that we are right now. Yeah. And so we really have to find a way to come together. We can't, we can't do, do it, it by ostracizing everyone else. Right. Hmm. You know, we've got, got to take into consideration. You, 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 you may think, think of something also. Um, so you mentioned that, that black people, people can't be racist. Mm-hmm. But we can be prejudiced. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very mm-hmm. prejudiced. Mm-hmm. I can't stand stupid people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. You laugh. You laugh. Let's be totally honest. Let's look at racism as a whole. Right. How is it intelligent? It's not, a, it's not intelligent at all, man. It's mm-hmm. actually stupid. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And, and that's what I stand on. That's what I jump on. I don't care if you come to me and say you don't like You don't have to like me. I don't have to like you. Right. I don't, I don't care if you trust me and tell me you don't, don't like my race. race. That's perfectly fine. You, you don't, don't have to like my race. But right. you mm-hmm. do have to accept my race. Amen. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just, Just by talking to me, you are legitimizing the fact that my race exists in this world. Come on. Hmm. Good point. Okay. And, and because, because of that, that you, you have to live with it. it. You don't, you don't have the option to stick your head in the and say they don't exist. You don't have the option to say, well, well we, we think you are a lesser creature. creature. It doesn't, it doesn't work, work that way. way. Wow. Good point, Paul. Mm-hmm. Man. Quick question okay. before you go, Paul. Sure. What do you think about the Shane Chi movie? Oh, it's, it's going to be off the chain. chain. Oh, yeah. But I don't think it is. I don't think it's going to be what people are expecting. I really think, based upon a lot of the hype that I see, yeah. that people are expecting a Street Fighter or a Mortal Kombat movie. Okay. Okay. I, I really think it's going to be more of an Enter the Dragon movie. Ooh, that's even better. I think it's going to be laced with so much intrigue and so much intricate plot work so much much character character development development that yeah there's going to be fights fights going on but the the fights are literally going to end up being secondary to a lot of the actual plot plot development development. think about how much information has to actually come out of shang chi oh yeah when you think about phase four yeah because they gotta introduce a mandarin at some point the actual mandarin not that crack yeah yep Yep. you know you've got so many people to introduce and you still have some ties that are going to go back to the um eternals 
Oh, yeah. There's no way they're going to bypass that. You know? And so with all of this development, it's going to be... Honestly, if I had to relate it to another movie in the actual style of what's being brought to the table, there's only two other movies that's going to match its actual depth. And that's going to be Winter Soldier and Age of Ultron. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, those, okay, that's a good reference. That's a really good reference. Okay, because it's about the actual depth of the movie. It's not about the action. It's not about the name. It's about what the story is going to tell and bring to the table. Okay. All right. Good point, man. I like that. I like that. <laughs> well, Paul, man, I appreciate you coming, uh, calling in, bro. I will definitely give you a buzz later on. And please call back. I really like your perspective. Very nice. Very open. Make you think. I love that. Well, to give you an understanding, um, I was raised in, in, in a, with a civil rights case. <clears throat> My mom had to go to the EEOC board because they tried to do double position. Mm. So a lot of this that being discussed, I dealt with growing up. So oh, you know it firsthand. Oh, right. wow, nice. Oh. I also was raised on an acreage. I was raised on 170 acres out of Luther, Oklahoma. Yes, he is. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah, he's a Luther boy. So, oh, yeah. okay, okay. But I'll let other people call in. You guys have a wonderful evening. We'll talk again. You too. All right, no problem, Paul. I'll have give you a buzz night. later on, man. Thank, thank you. Talk to you back. Bye-bye. All right, bye. Have a good night. Nice. What's a Luther in form? What's that? Luther. He's he's in Luther, Oklahoma. Oh, Luther. Oh, okay. I thought like some type of form. Oh, no, no. Wow. Hmm. See, that's what I'm saying. You just don't know what people have experienced in their life and what they're going through. And just like to express their thoughts on make you look at things with a different eye. I yeah. love that. Yeah. I love that. And me and Paul, we have long conversations about cool. a little bit of everything. Yeah. So that's why, you know, I wanted him to call in mm-hmm. because, you know, like I said, I've been knowing this dude for a very long time. And we talk everything from, as you can see, uh, comic books to civil rights to yeah. pretty much everything. We talk about all of that. Mm, nice. So, you know, but anyway, if anybody else wants to call in, by all means, call in. You know, Nash, numbers on the screen. Where, where you at, Nash? Nash, where you at, brother? You, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're listening, you know. I know, Leslie, you can't call because you, you, yeah, you can't even hear us right now. You probably can't. <laughs> For anybody else would like to call and get their thoughts, we would love to hear your thoughts. No doubt. We would love to hear anybody calling in, man. Like Come I on. said, don't get me wrong. This is a win for us, but guys, let's let's keep it 100. <laughs> yep. They're, they're, just like Paul said, it's it's a little, in the words of Nas, it's a little trick k- 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 There you go. A trick k- 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 Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And like Paul said, we have two plus hours conversations, me and him. We talk wow, about everything. That's, nice. how, that, that, that's, how, that's how cool we are. Mm-hmm. But anyway. Very good. But yeah, man. Uh, anybody else want to call in? By all means, do it. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll leave the phone lines open for a little while longer. Mm-hmm. But uh, but yeah, definitely, man. Well, like I said, I just I just wish. Hopefully, the Democrats won't let the Republicans get away with um, blocking that voting right bill, because now they they're gonna show us how, when, where to vote, which is ridiculous. As many protests and many causes have been done for us to vote. Yeah. And and I hope and pray, my brother and my sister in law included, yeah, would y'all please go to these schools and tell these school boards, y'all, and I do mean to say y'all, that's yes, how indeed. I talk. She's a country girl. <laughs> <laughs> y'all won't don't let this black history die down and not being taught. I think this is Nash right please. here. Yo, what's up? Who's calling? Up. What's up, Nash? Nice, nice, nice. Oh, you know, What's up? What's up, man? What's going on? I know it. What's up? Once again, marinating Of course. So, what's your thoughts on Juneteenth? Uh. Casper the Lake to the party. party. We've been celebrating That's what I said. That's what I said, yeah. So they Lake to the party. party. Mm-hmm. They didn't even know anything about Juneteenth for the most part mm-hmm. until Miss Henry Hattie took a credit for it last year. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I think he mentioned something about it. 
You know, they, they go, oh, what, what, what a two team. team. I mean, lock it out. No, they, <laughs> I mean, once, once again, it's late. Yeah. A day later. I mean, that's that, that cool that they approved it, made a federal holiday and all that. Mm-hmm. But again, uh, this, this Juneteenth thing is just a diversion. Thank you. Because they're not really getting to the subject at hand. Yep. Uh, voter suppression mm-hmm. yep. is still in full effect. Yep. Mm-hmm. They're trying to tighten the grip on this voter uh, right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Voter right bill. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yep. Because they, they feel, a lot of them still feel in their heart that um, Tangerine, Tangerine can be won. Mm-hmm. Right. But, um, unfortunately, she didn't win. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, you didn't win. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. But um, but the thing is, man, um, what they doing with uh, like I said, what they doing with this voter with this uh, Juneteenth thing? They just trying to give black people okay, they're gonna shut them up with this. They ain't gonna say that now. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna we, we give them this. They're not gonna no. We let us let us keep that you know keep the diversion and smoke screen going. Yeah. We don't want them to talk about. Uh, reparations. Mm-hmm. We don't want to talk about voter suppression. We don't want to talk about racism. None of that. Right. We'll, we'll, let, them, we'll let them celebrate good times like cool in the game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? I'm going to give them then. Maybe they forget about the other things that they want. Yeah, they're yeah. not the same. We, yeah. we like people, um, not all of us, but we, we're easily diverted by smoke screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot, a lot of us are. A lot of us are. Beyonce yeah. and J.C. Mm-hmm. All that instead of uniting mm-hmm. and fighting, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. we, we need quick to fall for the man in the tail fight. Mm-hmm. We, we are. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, that's the, the the whole. It, it's okay, man. Again, like I said, we already been celebrating. Yeah. 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 I said that earlier. We we've been celebrating. Like I said, it's just like me taking the keys to. Mimi's BMW and keeping them and then say, hey, I got something for you. Oh, what you got, babe? I got the keys to your BMW. You know how he'll get cussed out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's... it's yeah, exactly. It's like saying you discovered America. Mm. And people are already here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You gonna something that's already here. But you'll be surprised how many people... How many people that I heard was so excited about it because ooh a day off? Are you serious? That's all. Yeah. yeah, yeah I get it. Oh my god. I get it, but I mean, but that's, that's the same. We'll, we'll get happy over crumbs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Crumbs. We need mm-hmm. the whole damn bakery. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Forget all that. Oh, we're, we're gonna give you another holiday season. Y'all. But it's just not us. It's everyone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's cool that they all don't get it twisted, but mm-hmm. I mean, we, we got big, big, big pride. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I agree with you on that one. I've been saying that. Mm-hmm. Been saying it. Because they, they, they slow but surely, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's, let's give them this holiday, but then we're going to slow but surely take them right the way of vote. Exactly. It's pacification. No, it's, but... Uh, but politics is in, in general. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Both sides are for the same thing. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Both suppression against uh, African Americans. Oh, I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. It's like I said, you know, whether it's Democrat or Republican, it's all white supremacy. It's just different flavors. Yeah. It's, it. it's, it's both sides of the same coin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Double negative. Yeah, they did in the last uh, holiday they approved of uh, Martin Luther King, uh, Martin Luther King Day, I guess in January. Yeah. They, it, it took a long time for him to rock that. Yeah, it took a while. It took a minute for him to get that. It took a, it took a long minute for him to get that. And and it, look and think about this. Eighty six is when it first uh, came into effect. Yeah, it came out of fact in 86, but think about this, Nash, and you know it's to be true yourself because Public, because public Enemy did a song about it. By the time I get to Arizona, Arizona still don't recognize yes. it. Yeah. They still don't. Yeah, it took, a, it took a long time for that. So, they, like I said, they, 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 they don't start getting a little, well, they probably already is a little upset. You got you, January. You got, you got all February, and now you got this Stuff. Yeah. They, they, they gonna start, start, they they gonna start, start getting, getting their feelings. Well, they already in their feelings. Oh, yeah, they're already in their feelings. Yeah, 
Let me let me ask you guys a question. Why is Martin Luther King birthday celebrated on the 17th, but his actual birthday is the 15th? Again, they changed the narrative. <laughs> So technically, they're not honoring his birthday. It's just a day that they chose. What well, the first Monday of the month was yeah. it? Not it's the third Monday of the month. Something like that. Yeah. We can even we can even get his actual birthday. Nope. Wow. No. And then we got the coldest month of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Can't pull the grills out then. I'm probably, I'm probably June in February. <laughs> Lumping all into one category, yeah. One yep. all in one month. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. So, yeah, man. Uh, oh, um, happy uh, Lady Father's Day, by the way. Thank you. Appreciate it, brother. Happy Lady Father's Day to you, too, man. Yeah. I think I shouted you out. Yeah, you did. I think, I think anyway. you, yeah, you did. You did. Yeah, it's just like it's like you said, it's smoke and mirrors, man. You know, they're trying to distract us from the actual issues and stuff like that. But I've said that since day one. So this is nothing new. I mean, it's like you said, we've been celebrating Juneteenth. I know for a fact that on the east side of Oklahoma City they have a parade every year. Mm-hmm. On June yeah, every year. And, yeah, so, uh, matter of fact, um, they do a little, they do a little concert on Fourth Street. Yeah. Every year. Yeah. Every year, but I didn't know it was June Tea, but I've been going. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was, was June Tea for a long time. Yep. But yeah, I for a long concert and whatnot. But yeah. For a while, they was calling it Black Independence Day. Yeah. And now yeah. they make it I mean, June Tea. Now they're trying to call it National Independence Day mm-hmm. and uh, all that Emancipation Day. We Yeah, I heard that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're trying to co-opt it. They're trying to co-opt it. So are they yeah. going to have the big sales like they have at the other holidays? They it's probably gonna, are. They're going to have the big shoe sale and car sale and furniture sales and mattress sales. and. They probably <laughs> are. Give them a minute. Now they're going to have some white sheet sales. <laughs> <laughs> fried chicken sales. Watermelon, yeah. Get, get your red Kool Aid uh, sale, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> maybe you go to your favorite Korean uh, beauty store. Have, uh, <laughs> get a get a pack of bundles. Get one half off, yeah. Mm-hmm. Get, get 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 some yak hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! They just to me, guys. Honestly, this is a mockery. I I it's agree. A, it's a mockery. <laughs> it, I agree. I agree. I'm I agree. not happy about this. Like I said, don't get me wrong. It was a win semi cold yeah, but it was not nothing that we have been asking for give us what we want give us e- <laughs> yeah else yeah yeah amen said again for the people in the back yes sir and, and, and that Asian bill they got a specific a specific bill mm-hmm. in law for them it's not us now but they got they got everything that they wanted plus and it was all done within a matter of 60 days yeah yeah so why 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 are our why are ours on snail mail <laughs> well it well it's like i said man you know they they is is the, the the whole thing about black people getting reparations has been has been around since Frederick Douglass. Mm. Frederick Douglass been yeah. dead for hundreds of years for what mm-hmm. uh, over a hundred years. Eighteen yeah, hundred years. So yeah, exactly, yeah. and it's been on the table since then. That that damn bill has been eaten up by the by 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 the by the malls by now. Now what they say the paper done changed yeah. color. Yeah, paper done changed <laughs> color. Yeah. Come, come on. See, the, the, the thing is, and I, I try to tell people this. No, no, we don't. No. We don't be going through all these motions mm-hmm. just to get something that we deserve, right? We ain't looking like a villain. Oh well, when, when we got kidnapped, kidnapped. Good word. Very good word. <laughs> yeah. 
It wasn't no Amber Alert back then. <laughs> 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 so when you get taken from a place, right? And you didn't want to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, if they gotta put, if they gotta put you in chains to make you go somewhere, yeah, that's kidnapping. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that kidnapping. So, however, uh, that's, that's gonna, the, the reparations thing, it ain't enough of us uh, pushing. I agree. You got, you got too many diversions. Yeah, yeah. And on top of that, I mean, and on top of that, now I agree with you on that. And on top of that, now they got a lot of black people out there that's got this, that's got the coon hats on. They keep on saying that black oh, people yeah, don't yeah, need yeah, reparations. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a bunch of them. Mm-hmm. They don't need no reparations, sir. Yeah, they're gonna be coming there and tap dancing. Exactly. So <laughs> get get that butter biscuit and put some syrup on it. Come on. Mm. Yeah. And then a pat on the head. Yep. Mm, 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 mm. Yep. Oh, yeah. And, and like, like I said, man, it, when it comes to like, it, it's, it's too many cones that run things. Oh, man, yeah. Yeah, there's a whole it's bunch of them. Many. There's a whole bunch of them. And it's like a, a, a whole hound dog on, on a front porch that they, they uh, master or whatever. And one of them old ass hound dogs is faithful. Yeah. Oh, we, we, we got I agree. But this, this, um, this um, uh, reparations they don't have. So. Oh, I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. We, as a collective, like I said, strength in numbers. And you got strength in numbers. But see, the uh, Asian community, they, they didn't have to jump up and shake their fists and, you know, none of that. No. Nope. They just off the top. Here, you got to be made, you got this law for you. A couple of Asian, older LGBTQ, Asians got knocked down. All the, all the LGBTQ people, mm-hmm. they got their little thing. Mm-hmm. Yep. But all them PD games from our mm-hmm. back in the 60s and yep. 50s when mm-hmm. we were marching mm-hmm. and acting on mm-hmm. our rights and this and that and the other civil right. rights movement. Mm-hmm. They took the game from us and all them little like little 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 but we, we, we won't, you know, we won't collectively get together. Sad. Yeah, I know it. Really, really sad. It's like nearly full of sad, you know. know. It's like nearly full of sad, you know. Uh, they keep us divided. It's the whole divide and conquer mentality. As long as we're divided, yeah, you, you yeah. know, <laughs> once and we... If you, and if you keep the people uh, divided, that, um, that has... A volume of numbers. It, 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 we, we got, got a lot of numbers, numbers with it. Yep. You got to keep, if you keep black people divided as a race, you're going to win. Yeah. Keep them fighting over each other. Keep fighting over Jordan. Keep them fighting, keep keep fighting over Rams. Keep them yeah. fighting over who the bad shit. Keep oh, yeah. Keep them fighting over who got the tightest lyrics. Yeah. Nonsense that don't even make no sense. Yeah. It's, it's, not, even, it's not even relevant. Nash, let me tell you something. You can go to New York right now and you're going to find at least. Well, we'll get it with each other, I agree with you on that. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with you on that. You can go to New York right yeah, now. Yeah, you yeah. Gonna, you yeah, go to New York yeah. right now and you're going to find at least two people debating over religion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you're going to see it. You're going to see at least two people b- debating over which religion is a black man's religion. <laughs> and that don't make no damn sense because it's all our religion. We invented them. Come on, it's all ours. So what's why are you why are you debating that? Debate something else. Come on. It is. So we're killing we're killing ourselves too. I was reading an article the other day how these two young guys they were both in their twenties. Yeah. They was arguing over who was the top five lyricists of all time. Oh come on. And then one of the guys kept saying Biggie. He like, well, Biggie did. He said, but he's a top lyric. But Biggie did. He's a top lyric. So he pulled out his gun and shot the boy. <laughs> it's like Nan said. They got <laughs> pulled him out and shot him cold dead because he kept saying Biggie. No. Yep, New York City, Brooklyn. Yep. No. It's 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 like it's no. like it's like Nas just said. Mm-hmm. It's like Nas just said. He just talked about this. You know, they got us fighting over dumb shit. Dumb. Yeah. Come dumb. on. Come on. 
And, 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 okay, now that, now that I see what you guys are saying, we keep and doing stuff like that. We can never get together. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Exactly. Exactly. But if they're not getting it wrong, I like, I like Biggie. You know? mm -hmm. But look at it like this. Who the top leaders? But look at it like this. If they're trying to take it out to schools, the kids don't know. So how are they gonna know? The only thing they can talk about who's the big, the biggest lyricist, they won't know nothing about Juneteenth and reparations because they've never been taught. They're not getting at home. They're not getting at school. When they hang on the block with their friends, they're talking about rap music. Yeah. Yeah. They definitely ain't talking about no reparations. No. <laughs> no. No, they're not. They're not. Nope. Mm -mm. Yeah. No, they just trying to. Trying to flip a brick. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's all right. That's it. Want to be Scarface? Thank you. That's, mm -hmm. all, that's exactly what they are. They didn't mm -hmm. watch Scarface yeah, one time learn, too many. They'll, they'll, they'll learn, they'll learn that in oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. They'll try to learn that in a minute. Word for word. And then when they get put in prison, damn, I fucked up. Oh, yeah, you think? Mm. No. What they, what they, what they, yeah, they'll do that. But what they'll do though is uh. To make moves while in prison. Yeah, yeah, yep, that's true. Yeah. That true. That too. That too. Or, or, talk, or get, or get <laughs> yep. Well, you know, honestly, they got the time in prison. So oh yeah. <laughs> they they'll learn it then because they don't have a choice. Yep. I mean, they have oh, yeah. a choice, but you, you know. Learn one way or another. Yeah, you gonna learn one way. Yeah, yeah, one way or another, you what, gonna learn. What's that old saying? You gonna learn today? Oh, whole, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whole thing with us, man. Oh yeah, I agree with you on that one. Man. Anyway, uh, congratulations on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, man, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna cut it because I know there's other people trying to break in. But I got the alarm set. All right. Oh, yeah, time to go. <laughs> well, have a good night and thanks again for calling in with those set. nice yeah. jewels. What's that? The, uh, nice, have a good night and thank you again for calling in with those good jewels. Absolutely. Absolutely. Always. You know, you're always welcome here, bro. Yes, sir. Look forward to it. All right, I appreciate. All right, I appreciate. All right, well, have a good night. All right, you do the same. Okay, All right. okay, bye bye. Later. All right, man. Wow. Well, here we are. Here we are, man. Here we are. Well, since Les is on the road, I don't think he's gonna call in. Yeah. But, you know, so yeah. we'll get to him. We'll, we'll get him next week. We'll get him next week. Remember your thoughts, Les, and just tell us next week. <laughs> yeah, tell us next week. Tell us next week. If you listen, tell us next week. We look forward to you guys' thoughts, all of y'all. Y'all, y'all be coming with some, some real thought-provoking sentiments, and I and I make me think. Yeah, definitely. Another way of looking at things. That's that's amazing. Definitely, definitely. All right, sir. So. In the words of Nas, happy Juneteenth. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's I just, gonna get better. It can't. You know I what? Mean, I, I just feel like it has to get better. I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of person. I'm, I'm very, I'm very optimistic about a whole yeah. bunch of different things. You know that. Can't go backwards, can we? We can. You know, that's that's the way it is with black people. We take three steps forward. We're gonna take four back. But we do it ourselves, and then we try sometimes, to blame. I mean, well, they do have a hand in it. Well, sometimes we do, but you know, you gotta understand the reason behind we do what we do because of all the all the poverty and the racism that they perpetuated on us. Yeah, but sometimes we're so, our biggest adversary too. I agree with you on that you to know, a point. To a point, I agree with you on that one. So I'm not gonna say that you're wrong. And I'm not gonna say it's just the old people. Cause I done heard some old heads too. Y'all arguing over a card game, or y'all arguing over. Big five and dominoes, or you know, who got the best two step? I done heard some crazy. Oh, yeah, I've heard some stupid ass arguments some crazy myself. Crazy arguments, but I don't hardly ever see nobody sitting around talking about, come on, guys, let's get together and write some letters to Congress to get something passed. You right. know, right? We, we all are guilty of that. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna include myself in that as well. Oh, no, I agree with you on that. Me too, but we have to do better. We got to do better. It has to get better for us because we just can't keep doing being that little hamster in the wind. I agree with you on that one. So, you know, I guess and yeah, I'm not gonna guess about it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna go ahead and start looking to a few things to do myself. Mm -hmm. Me and you can do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, this show is just a start. This is a stepping stone. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is just a start. Mm -hmm. So and the audience, like I said, is slowly but surely growing. I'm Absolutely. loving that. Absolutely. So uh but uh, real quick, I guess we're gonna wrap this show up, y'all. Okay. And um 
I appreciate everybody Another calling hot one, in. Another baby. Des- definitely, definitely. I appreciate everybody calling in. And definitely. Paul, brother, you dropped some really good stuff out here, Yes, man. you did. By nice to meet means. you and very thought-provoking. Yes. yes, call in. Call in again, man. Mm-hmm. Call in again. So uh, we appreciate your, your input. I have to remember what he said. You know, one thing I can't, I, I can't stand stupid people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Never looked at it like that, but yeah. There are a lot of those out there in every race. Oh yeah, and every race, yeah. man. I can't stand stupid folks myself, yeah. man. But yeah. But, but as anyway. always, remember to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit, hit that, that like. notification button. Yes, indeed. Hit all that, man. Alert to let us know we're on live. Yeah. Get some thoughts together and let us know whatever topics you might want to hear us talk about or you want to speak on. And somebody had told me this a while back. They had told me that they had subscribed to the channel and YouTube unsubscribed them. I will say this right now. Hmm? With shows like this, they will do that. Really? Yes. So if hit that like button, subscribe to it, and let us know if you get unsubscribed to this particular wow. show. I'm telling you because we, if you've been a fan of the show since day one, you know I I say whatever the hell I'm going to say and that's it. Mm-hmm. And I'm usually sticking a foot in white supremacy's ass. But we're not making nothing up. This is this is if we're just stating the facts. Exactly. We're exactly. Just giving our opinions on factual information. So yeah. Factual events. Right. Exactly. Wow. I'm not going to tell nobody no lies intentionally anyway. So, so YouTube can go out there and unscro- unsubscribe. What? I'm telling you, that's what people have told me. Gee, oh, see here again. I'm acting like, oh my god. See, I can't. This all just done blew my mind. This just. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, I'm not making this up. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna take this as a negative thing. I'm just gonna say, obviously, we saying something that needs to be. We're doing something right. Yeah, that's the way I see it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, guys, like he said, if you subscribe, go back and subscribe. Yeah, go back and resubscribe to it. Let me know if it's being if it's we, being done not, like that. Excuse my friends, we're not mind fucking y'all. We no. just trying to tell y'all the truth. We keep you educated and informed. Exactly. That's it. Good books to read. Yeah. Hot topics, current events. Yeah. And situation that's going in the world that needs to be discussed. Hello. As melanated thoughts. Come on, y'all. Come on, that's all we're doing. That's it. Oh my gosh. But yeah, some people have told me that I have I can the emails. Well, I deleted them since then, but you know, yeah, the emails have popped up telling me, "Hey, man, I'm subscribed to your to your podcast, and now I'm unsubscribed to it." So that's just uh, resubscribe to it, man. Yeah, please just go back and subscribe. Hit the that's notification it. button. Hit the alert button. Keep us going. Tell a friend. Tell a family. Nothing but positive love and positive juju over here. There you go, man. That's there you go. That's all there's to it, but. Alright baby, you ready to wrap it up? Yeah, let's wrap this thing up, All y'all. Right. So anyway, on a good note, I'm Reggio. And I am Mimi the Lady. And we out. Bye.